Hi all, how are you? Happy Mother's Day to all of you. It's Mother's Day in the UK. It's Mothering Sunday. So happy Mother's Day to all the mothers and would-be mothers and to men as well. To all the parents basically. Being a parent is really tough. It's a big job. I didn't know it would be this difficult before I became a parent. It's really, it's a lot of responsibility. It's really a tough job. But I'm loving it. It's a lot of joy as well being a parent. Motherhood gives you lots and lots of happiness along with lots and lots of responsibilities as well. We are celebrating Mother's Day today. My kids have made special breakfast for me. You know what? I love eating brunch outside in a cafe. So they are taking me for a brunch. But they have made some special cake as well for me. See? Kiwi is also calling me. I am her mother too now. I've got three kids now. Let's go and see what they've made. Party and the girls had been baking something very secretly since morning. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> it's lovely cake. I love it. Carrot cake. Lovely. It's Carrot cake. How beautiful. Who made this? That, that was me. It's amazing. <laughs> lovely cards. This is a beautiful flower. I made it last night. Thank you. <laughs> so nice, so nice. See? <laughs> yes, <Duke and> Pressy. <laughs> they usually write some funny things about me. Spa day, three times spa day they're going to give me. Nails, two times they're going to do. Mm, clean whole house, two times. Really? We have to clean the house? <laughs> this oh, it's only heart. you, not mm, Cece. Yeah. Not me. Oh, Sam. Amazing. 1,000 cakes and bakes. Oh my God. Give me something to bake. Pretty please. <laughs> 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 to Mumbo <Mambu> Maximus. <laughs> Thanks for mumming day. It's very nice. <laughs> you are. Even when you're 100, you'll still be my child. You know, that's what my mum says to me too. You know, that's what Amama says to me. Not to be opened until 10, 3, 24. To merp, merp, girly business only. <laughs> the one, mom, the one who understands, see? <laughs> Moms always understand. Oh, beautiful. Okay, okay, okay. And the Kiwi as well. They've written Kiwi's name on the <laughs> <Kiwi's> name. <laughs> Kiwi. Lovely. And uh, this one's from me. Aarti gets all days on Father's Day. Oh, Father's Day is even bigger affair in our house. Even bigger. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Mother's Day. It goes with millions of words. Oh, Kiwi, come on here. <laughs> Enough with the cheesy stuff. <laughs> love ya. <laughs> she says, just love ya. <laughs> Very nice. Beautiful girl. I am your favorite child. <laughs> this is from your most beloved child, me. Lovely yeah. carrot cake. <laughs> it's beautiful. Sam, did you get inspiration from um Miss Rabbit? <laughs> Miss Rabbit? Rabbit? Mother Rabbit. Oh yeah. <laughs> Rabbits love cake. Oh uh, no. Carrots. Rabbits love carrots. <laughs> Rabbits love carrots. Yeah. It's a lovely cake, honey. It's beautiful. Mm. Shall I go get a fork? Sammy, it's very, very nice. Is it? Very tasty. Mm, love it. It's meant to be a loaf kind of cake. Oh, yeah, it's very nice. If you are new here, I'm Narmata. I live in London. For me, friends and family is everything, especially when the energy is positive. I like to reflect that positivity through my videos. I just try to focus on spreading love and positivity on social media. If you enjoy my content, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. That would give me motivation to make more such positive content. Today we'll be visiting the National Trust Polston Lacey, exploring the mansion, its vast gardens, and hopefully going for a countryside amble through its wider estate. We are, uh, I think, near Leatherhead. In 200 yards yeah. onto the Yeah. It will take another one, minute, one or two minutes, max. Just about a mile away. Nearly there. Yeah. I think 
there is some gas works. Yeah. They have closed one side. Wow, look at the flowers. Daffodils are on display. It makes me so cheerful seeing these colorful flowers. Our neighbor said Boston Lacey is a very attractive house with large grounds and great views from the rear over the garden. This is the first time I'm going to see it. I love history. I'm so excited. You need to pay admission fee here. I think it's 15 pounds for adults and kids, 7.50. And you need to pay for the parking as well. But we have National Trust membership, so it's free for us. <laughs> we want to eat first and then see the house. Fati is laughing. <laughs> it's a big queue at the cafe. I think everyone is eating brunch like us. What do you want? It's a lovely fruit skull. It is still raining. It is such a wet day. Look at the house. Oh my God, it's amazing. Wow, it's so gorgeous. When I see houses like this, grand houses, old houses, it just transports me to the olden days, you know, the imagination, how it would have been, how people lived here, how they dressed, what they eat, everything. I'm fascinated about history. Oh my God, look at the Surrey Hills. Wow, it is at the footsteps of the hills. It's amazing. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> It's really down the hill here. You can see the complete hill. My neighbor told me from the back side, you can see the whole Surrey Hills from there. It is true. It's amazing. Wow. If it was not raining, we could have gone down there. It would have been nicer. It keeps pouring today. They're doing some renovations here. Oh, it is so beautiful inside. The woodwork and the paintings are just amazing. They said they're doing some maintenance work upstairs. That's why they closed it. We were told it'll be open in April. Wow, look at the dining room. <laughs> 
apparently the lady of this house she was a popular hostess in those days mrs gravel it's beautiful look at the side table oh my god they put some sample pieces there artificial pieces just to give us a feel how it would have been in those days how they eat and stuff wow what a beautiful fireplace big fireplace amazing lovely mantel pieces the jars i see jars everywhere these kind of porcelain jars i don't know if they are european or chinese jars look at the painting beautiful apparently mrs gravel was so famous for keeping lovely expensive paintings here lovely lovely this is the lacy family in 1909 wow is that mrs gravel could be beautiful pictures What are these for? You to hide it. For people to hide it. They're amazing jars. Are these china porcelain jars? They are. Fancy, fancy. Fancy. Must be very expensive. Amazing. Wow. There are so many jars like this, sir. Huh? I saw many jars like this. There are many. Mm. Girls, this is come here. Look at this painting. It's amazing, isn't it? Wonderful painting. It doesn't say anything. It's amazing. All the paintings are so good. My kids love reading books. Library is their most favorite spot. <laughs> Older days. Oh, it's fascinating. Must be real. It is real. It may not work now. But it's a real phone. You know, it used to be like this. But you have to go drawing, drawing. Such a bright color so far, unusual. It's amazing. Wow. Look at this fireplace. <laughs> fireplace in the mirror work of it. It's amazing. I love it. Oh, all these 
these tiny jars. Small jars. These are all tiny ones. Mm -hmm. Look at this chess set. Bharti, look, it has come from India. Visagapatnam, India. It's made in sandalwood. They have a second hand bookshop here. We are going to visit. These books are two paperback. Two pounds, these ones are. Yeah. The ones outside is just 50p. Each of 50p. Humor books, Roger. These kind of bookshops are dedicated entirely to used pre-loved books. You know, I crave the old book smell. <laughs> you can snap up everything from the latest blockbuster to antique gems. There is something about reading an old book. The feeling is awesome. Ninth Earl. Shakespeare? There's this thing called Poppy Shakespeare. Mm -hmm. By Queen Anne. Let's see. I think this book is for I think this book is for adults, but I did find oh. this book. I did find this book. Okay. Nice. We have bought a lot of books. Reading is something as parents we need to develop in our kids. I make an effort to do that. I love reading books and I've brought that habit into my kids also. They love reading books, anything, art, history, science fiction, anything, they love it. Apparently, this is a lovely garden here. They have roses, everything. But right now it's closed. Maybe I have to come in summer to look at this place. There is a shop here we are going to visit. It looked very nice from outside. I want to see what's there. Yes. So pretty. Sam, look at this cushion. I like it. Spring. It's a spring collection. We have similar ones. We have similar ones, yeah. Hand painted. The periwinkle type. <laughs> nice collections. Do you want this yellow one? I so. Are these rocks? Yeah. Because they don't feel like throws. Oh, they are throws. It is. It is throw. A big throw. Big size. Nice size throw. What is this? That looks interesting. I see. What is it? It's an ornament. Table ornament. Oh, it's a vase. It is too pretty to use. Yeah. I would never use it. What? It's very really pretty. What's that? It's like, oh, it's coasters. Coasters. Mm, with the impression. 
the blonde impressions. Every two steps we're taking, it smells different. Wow, seasoned. Mm. It's kind of strong. Is it strong? Mm. Yeah, it's very strong. What is it? So it's let me see. They've got a jasmine. There is jasmine in this. Wow, jasmine is very nice. Try the sandal. Yeah, it's Indian sandal. The packaging is so pretty as well. It's very nice. Each one is six pounds. It says pure vegetables. It's lovely. Most of the times we parents worry about our kids' education, their concentration and how they are studying everything. But you know what, sometimes people say it's genetics also, concentration and memory power belongs to genetics. Partially true, but also it depends on what kind of foods we are eating, our kids are eating especially. Are we eating foods that enrich our brain capacity, that enriches our memory capacity? That is a big question. We parents try so hard to give healthy food items to our kids, but they rebel it, don't they? They want to eat cookies, cakes, all the junk food, sweets. They want to eat them. They don't want to eat vegetables and fruits. They rebel it. At least my kids do. <laughs> so the one thing I do is I make a memory power ladder. I call it a memory power ladder. My mom used to call it. My grandmother used to call it. It's full of nuts and seeds. It gives so much of energy, so much of nutrition to your brain. It's also good for your body growth development, body development. It contains a lot of nutrients which are very, very important for our brain. I'll be making it today evening. I'll show you when I make it. You know, this makes my life worry-free. I don't have to worry if my kids ate five a day, five fruits and vegetables a day, or did they eat this, did they eat that? Because this one laddu gives them all, gives a lot of nutrients to their body and to their brain. It's a very simple recipe. I follow it to the T. I follow my mom and grandmother's recipe. Pati is making dumplings for lunch. Dumpling has become a thing in our house recently, in the recent years. I think in the past couple of years, it has become a big thing. Kids always love to eat dumplings. It has become a go-to snack or a go-to lunch. I have to accept, I like it too. I'm trying to get it inside the dumpling. Yeah, it's just cool. It's always on the outside. Oh my God, imagine your fingers are greasy. This time it's very good. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would say it's really nice. Yeah. I almost stripped it. Oh, you stained your shirt? Um, um oh, come on, sorry. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> 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 I've got 50 grams of pumpkin seeds, 50 grams of sunflower seeds, and 20 grams flax seeds. I'll fry it with half a teaspoon of ghee until they get to a light golden color. These are nutrient dense foods. It gives the right amount of protein and essential fatty acids for brain development. When it comes to memory power and concentration, we need to eat foods that are rich in omega-3, vitamin E, folate and fiber. I'll fry two cups of freshly grated coconut. You can also use dried coconut. I'll fry it just until it gets crispy and a light brown. Now comes the very important Ayurvedic herb. It's Indian pennywort. Ayurveda describes this herb as natural brain tonic. I'll add three teaspoons of this magical herb, five cardamoms, 
and 1 teaspoon dry ginger powder. I've made a little coarse powder. I'll melt 1 and a half cups of jaggery. It's a form of raw, unrefined sugar. If you want, I'll give you links for all the ingredients. I'll add 2 tablespoons of water and I will heat it just until the jaggery melts. It will take about 5 to 8 minutes. When the liquid is still warm, I will add the nuts and seeds powder and then grease a little bit of ghee in my palms and then shape the mixture into balls like this. This is an Ayurvedic memory booster superfood. I usually give one of these to my kids every day, mostly in the mornings because nuts will not digest properly if you take them at night. I absolutely love being a mom, but I also have an incredible support system. Some parents say it's one of the hardest things they had to do. I think a lot of people end up feeling overwhelmed and I would be too if my husband didn't take half of the responsibilities at home. When motherhood overwhelms, remember you're not alone. Please reach out to your family and friends. Parenting is the easiest thing in the world to have an opinion about, but the hardest thing in the world to do. Matt Walsh <laughs>